Hi, I'm Larry, your friendly neighborhood hypnotist, no matter what neighborhood you happen to be in. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about how specifically hypnosis can help you to quit smoking. Real hypnosis is mostly about beliefs, right? Three big beliefs that everybody's got to have if you're going to quit smoking for real. The big essential ones are uh, that's possible, that you personally can do it, and that you've got to do it. Not, I ought to do it, I should do it, but I have to do it. Like going to work in the morning. You know, you just got to do it, right? You got to get your butt out of bed and get to your workplace or bad things will happen. You've accepted it. You've made the decision. You're simply going to do it, barring being sick or exceptions, right? You go consistently because it's just who you are. It's what you've decided. That's that, right? If you're still smoking, you're not quite there yet. You're close. Sometimes you feel like you've got to, but you haven't actually believed it. You feel like it, but you don't necessarily believe that yet and deeply accepting the necessity of it for whatever your reasons are whatever matters to you you have to ratchet up your motivations and you know, decide what is your why why does it matter to you you know you got to decide that matters because of your kids or your grandkids or your partner um, but not just for somebody else uh, but for you you know maybe you hate the smell or you know a lot of people are working out all the time but they feel like a hypocrite because they're still smoking you know sometimes they're embarrassed about it. medical you know? problems are coming up you know high blood pressure or you're having trouble going upstairs, you know, so you just get winded more easily than you used to. You know, or you maybe get bronchitis more often, or COB, COPD is happening, or emphysema, or the big C word. Um, or maybe you need surgery, right, and the doctor won't work on you unless you, uh, you get your circulation in order, which means getting rid of cigarettes. Um, or maybe the cost has gotten to you. One you pack know? a day is $30,000 over 10 years. You know, if you're a two-pack a day smoker, you know, you could have bought a house by now, at least a hell of a nice vehicle, right? So whatever your reasons are, right, recognizing them, really imagining what's going to happen if you don't and the good things will happen if you do and let that be more, play more of a part in your life, you know, a, a part in your motivations, you know, helping you ratchet those things up is one of the kind of things we can do. Another belief that's kind of an optional one, but it's nice, is believing that it doesn't have to be that hard, right? Most people think it's going to be just super duper hard. And for most people, it is when you try to do it on your own. Right. So those are some important things to look at and think about when it comes to beliefs. And there are a lot of smaller beliefs that go into it as well. Like I can't relax without it. I need it to relax. And yet, you weren't born with a cigarette hanging out of your mouth. And when you were a little kid, when you were six years old, you didn't you know, slide down the slide, scrape your knee, and uh, you say, oh my God, I need a cigarette, right? No, you cried for a couple minutes, you got over it, you jumped back on that slide. Everybody thinks it's just a habit, but if it was just a habit, you would have quit already. It's like, you know, just a habit is when you've got a car where the gear shift is up here, right? And you get a new car, the gear shift is down here. Well, for the first week you go, Oh, that's right, over here. You reach up there accidentally. You know, like when you move someplace and the light switch is in a different place. But after a couple of days, you quit doing this and you go, oh, there it is over here, right? You switch from habit A to habit B all the time. If it was just a habit, we wouldn't be having this kind of discussion. You wouldn't be looking at this video, right? So it's more to it than that, right? And you think about nicotine, well, many of you have quit for some length of time. You know, it could just be a hospital stay where you were in the hospital for two weeks and couldn't smoke. Um, or you were in the military for a long, you couldn't smoke, or long, long flights on an airplane where you had these, these big gaps in between and somehow you just didn't have any kind of an urge at all, right? Or you quit completely uh, for whatever reason. Maybe you quit on your own, you mustered up the willpower and you did it for six weeks. Well, the nicotine is out of your system in three days. Three days, that's all it takes. So if it was nicotine, well, you wouldn't have gone back to it cravings are just too bad. I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. You know, procrastination is what really kills people when it comes to smoking. So a lot of different beliefs that go into it. Um, it goes with alcohol. I'll miss out. Uh, others around me, it's because others around me smoke. It's their fault. You know, uh, I deserve a treat. You know, it doesn't really affect me that much. It doesn't really affect my relationship that much. Uh, it makes me feel at peace. It makes me feel part of a group. So many different unconscious beliefs can be a part of it. So this is why you can't just grab a CD I hope it's going to work for you. CD, I just dated myself. You can't just download an MP3, right? And expect it to just magically work for you because you are different 
than everybody else on the planet. You know, everybody's got certain things that motivate them, certain things that matter to them, certain things get in the way. That's why a real conversation is worthwhile. And when you do work with a hypnotist, right, one-on-one, -on -one, um, we can help you get to a real place of peace because hypnosis is about your unconscious mind learning much more quickly, right? It's like when you're a child and you just soaked in everything. You learn so quick as a kid. Um, some people say you, you learn as much in your first three years of life as you do the whole rest of your life combined. Well, when your unconscious mind is wide awake and alert like you are in hypnosis, you can learn with that kind of speed and depth. You, know, you can come to these aha moments more consistently, more vibrantly, uh, more impactfully. You know, hypnosis is a beautiful thing. To me, it's, it's um, you know, I, I, it's a spiritual thing to me. I pray within hypnosis. I, you know, believe that it, it is uh, just a moment where your mind becomes quiet and we're connected to, uh, you know, whatever you, you, the universe, your higher self, you know, your unconscious mind, so many resources in the unconscious mind, you know, we've learned so much over the course of our lives. Some people believe every memory we've ever had is there which is why sometimes you go back in regression and, and remember things. Like that's one of the techniques we'll do sometimes is we'll help people go to moments in their life where they've been confident, where they've been at peace, where they've been able to make a big change. You know, you've, you've grown through a lot of different challenges in your life. You grew out of um, diapers. You grew out of training wheels. You, you learned to drive. You, know, you grew out of a toxic relationship. You've learned a lot of things and being able to bring back those resources is one technique we can do within hypnosis. Um, we can also really help you come to that place of peace where you can kind of negotiate or work through inner conflicts. You know, inner conflict is a very big part of this as well, right? A part of you wants to quit, part of you really doesn't, right? Always, it's always the case, pushing and pulling back and forth and back and forth, right? So we can help you negotiate that with hypnosis, kind of work with the different parts of yourself in a way. Um, let go of the anxieties that have to do with withdrawal and use the natural ability of your body to ignore certain sensations, just tune things out. Like you didn't notice the feeling of the shoes on your feet just now until I mentioned it, right? Now you're feeling them or maybe the glasses on your face, you know? You tune things out, the watch, your watch might be wearing, right? You know, your body just, your mind just tunes things out in your body naturally, easily, effortlessly. It can absolutely turn down the cravings so they're not so bad. Right? So these are some of the different ways hypnosis can help you. We can do what we call direct suggestion. Uh, we can help you to a deeper place of decisiveness. Um, so you can turn down the volume of the self-sabotage. Um, we teach your unconscious mind to learn through deep, deep modeling like you did, did as a kid. We can teach you what's called neurolinguistics, which is a fancy word for kind of brain hacks and uh, visualizations that uh, can really make you feel differently and snap yourself out of a craving in the moment, right? Uh, I like to teach people self-hypnosis as a way to relax instead of a cigarette, right? That really honestly is one of the biggest things that really makes a difference for my clients because they have a way they can still take five minutes just to get away from it all for a minute, you know, or five, right? And just relax and really let things go in a deeper way a meaningful way that feels really good. So you don't feel like you're just giving up cigarettes, but you're trading up for something different, right? So um, yeah, so with help of hypnosis, we can help you feel more confident, more capable, help you rewrite some past programming of your inner teenagers. So you're not fighting with a part of you. Um, we can help make being a non-smoker is really a part of your overall identity and overall turn down your stress levels, right? So these are the things that make hypnosis so rewarding to me as a practitioner to be able to help people with and smoking is something that i've done i've done this for 23 years um, i helped um, my mom quit smoking um, i've helped tens of thousands of people thousands of people directly and tens of thousands through the i've, I've got about 200 full-time uh, professional hypnotists that i have trained um, and those guys are out there helping lots of people smoking is as long as you test well with hypnosis and you can listen and trust another human being it is the number one way of quitting smoking in the world so i encourage you to do that screening with me get together we'll talk about what exactly is going on with you your particular uh, unconscious motivations your conscious motivations uh the sticking points stuck in the back of your head and see if we can't really figure out what it's going to take for you to to get past this i have tremendous success rates with it because it's a beautiful beautiful set of tools 
that really can help a lot of people and I'd be honored to help you. So why don't you set yourself up for a screening if you're serious about quitting smoking. If you just are interested in learning about this, please share it with your friends. And I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for tuning in to my little video and bye-bye. Oh, richmondhypnosiscenter.com is the magic website if you want to come hang out with me.